So our experiment for the lungs um, is represented by this model right here. Uh, the entire two liter bottle that we purchased uh, represents the general rib cage and thoracic cavity of the body. Um, at the top here, you have a straw that represents the trachea and the, pi the red pipe cleaner that surrounds it is the cartilage that allows the trachea to expand. Um, and then the other thinner bendy straws that you see right here that um, have the balloons attached to them represent the two primary bronchi and the balloons represent the alveolar sacs um, that are inside of the lungs. Uh, the lower part of the model we have the elastic glove right here that represents the contracting and expanding diaphragm. Um, and these, these pipe cleaners right here represent um, the phrenic nerves that transmit and stimulate the diaphragm to move upwards and downwards. And these red rubber bands right here represent the intercostal muscles that realistically would be between each set of ribs and those allow the rib cage and the chest to expand, allowing volume um, to increase for the lungs and the entire thoracic cavity. This model provides insight on how lungs function by accurately depicting inflation and deflation due to pressure changes. Normal atmospheric pressure acts on the model in the same way it acts in our real lungs. Air pressure is exerted on all surfaces in contact with the air, on the outside of the bottle and on the inside of the, inside of the balloons, just like it is with our body and our lungs. So when the diaphragm and intercostal muscles are at rest, in our model, the latex glove and the rubber bands, the pressures on the inside of the lungs, the balloons, and the outside of the thoracic wall, the wall of our bottle, are the same. When not touched, our lungs are in a relaxed position. According to Boyle's law, pressure and volume are inversely related, which means that as volume increases, pressure decreases. So when the diaphragm muscle, the latex glove, is stimulated by phrenic nerves, here represented by pipe cleaners, and contracts, moving down, the volume inside the thoracic cavity, inside the bottle, increases. This causes a decrease in the pressure inside the lungs, the balloons, and outside air is pushed into the airways, which are here represented by the straws, and inflates the lungs, like that. Expiration is stimulated by this model by showing a relaxation of the diaphragm and intercostal muscles, the rubber bands. As the diaphragm and external intercostal muscles relax, elastic tissues, like the elastic in the balloon, cause the lungs to recoil. The recoil increases pressure within the lungs to back towards atmospheric pressure and causes air to move out of the airways, which are the straws. You can also exhale more air than normal by contracting the intercostal muscles ma manually, the rib bands. This also increases air pressure in the lungs by pulling the ribs and sternum inward, forcing more air out of the lungs here represented by the walls of our bottle, like this.